just look, it is what it is, you know. Let's just move all this stuff. So, Dave, um, Dave said he doesn't know too many people that have five day toners. Yeah, I don't know many people at all who have five day toners, Dave. So, um, what, what do you think? It's gorgeous. There was one day toner on the wall. Just how many five day toners, Dave? Yes. It's just how many, how many day toners? I mean, and th they these have are dream. All, they, these are. They've been bored. Besides the. <laughs> Dave, we'll just have a quick talk. If it doesn't work well, I can dub it out. So don't okay. be nervous. Yep. Be cool. Dave, you've got a small collection of watches. Correct. You've, uh, you're struggling. And uh, you've got five Daytonas. Five Daytonas. This is a very, 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 very beautiful, gorgeous collection. I've never seen five. I mean, I know some really, really rich people. One of my super collectors, he doesn't actually like Daytonas. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's the guy with the four sea dwellers. Yep. The paddocks. Ah, uh, yes. You know, yes, he, yes. He, he's 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 super super amazing. I do have some sea dwellers, but my main thing is Daytona. Yes. The history. Dave, with why why is it the Daytona? What 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 got you started into Daytonas here? So this is. I bought the fortieth. For my 40th, I bought the white dial, which is the stainless oh, steel. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to go and zoom in on that there. So this was your first Daytona? My first Daytona. You got that for your 40th? Yes, I originally Your business had... partner said, get a Daytona. Yes. Originally, I bought a GMT. Yes. When I was about 38 or 39. Yes. And he said to yes. me, he says, every man, if they love Rolex, should get a Daytona. Well, and that's easy, easier said than done. Easier said than done. Jesus, they Dave. were a little bit more available back then than yeah. they are now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he said to me, he actually told me to buy the black dial. Okay. But I said I prefer the white. <laughs> okay. Um, Is, and that yeah. started my journey, my watch so, journey. So that was when you were 40? Yes. So I'm 47 now. 47. So you then didn't buy too many more? No. Uh, I didn't buy any more for about four or five years. Okay. I, so, so that was my daily watch. That was your daily wearer? That was your daily my daily driver? Wearer. Yes. Well, it's in, it's in really nice condition. I had that in a G-Shock. Okay, we won't talk about the G-Shock. Well, it, it never got worn again. It got thrown out. Okay. Okay. It got thrown out. Fair enough. So you got that. That's yes. when you're 40th. Yes. What was number two in the collection? Where did you go number two? The second one was the stainless steel black dial. Okay, now you've actually got this. This is an Everest or that's a rubber bee? It's an that's Everest. That's an Everest, that's an Everest. It's an Everest. It's you've an still got the bracelet, yes. I hope, haven't yes. you? Yes. Because I had one of my fans who actually threw out the bracelet. I don't do that. You know, I'm the Explorer 2 guy. Yeah, I we don't. We won't name him, but yeah. he, he threw out the bracelet because he thought it just wasn't worthy of keeping. And uh, no, I'm not you, that you wouldn't stupid. do that stupid? I'm not that you stupid. You wouldn't be that stupid? I hope I'm not. Yeah, Touch wood. Hope, hope you're not. Okay, so this is the black dial. Uh, can and you I tell got, us anything about it? How did you buy this one? Uh, that was offered to me from a person that um, via a car dealer actually. A he had a customer dealer? that yeah. was willing to sell it. So he, for, he, he basically said this watch was a girl's watch. It was too small, and he decided to buy a IWC, IWC big, big pilot, pilot at retail. Yeah. At re well, Dave, that's, that's and I said to him, "Are you IWC sure you makes want nice to? Stuff. Are you sure you want to sell it?" He wanted a bit more money for it, but it was pretty banged up. Oh, I see. And it doesn't I, look too banged up to me. Well, I've well, the bracelet was banged up. I sure. got it serviced straight away. Um, okay. And now the ser the bracelet hasn't been used since. So I put that on it. Okay. Do you, I, I must say I do love the white. It is very. It's an acquired taste. Some it, people hate it. Some people like it. But well, who cares? It's my Dave, watch. When they've got it's the money, I, they can do what they like with it. Exactly. So that, that was that the was second. Two. That was the number and two. Was, was there any for significant? You said number one was your fortieth. Was this anything special? Anything important in your life? No. Um, the opportunity came. I was called at eleven o'clock. Uh, at nine o'clock at night. 
and said, would you like to buy a stainless steel Daytona for under retail? And what did you say? Uh, yes. I called the guy and did the deal within 20 minutes. Okay, beautiful. Well, that's okay. You paid a fair market price. And no. Oh. Well, let's not. We'll, yes, let's we not won't disclose discuss, that. But no, no, because we're not here to boast. We're just here to. I think I got about twenty percent under retail. Well, for him, he didn't like it because it was too small. Yes. And if you don't like something, it doesn't matter what yeah. anyone else. Any thinks. of the reasons. If you don't like it, you got to be happy yourself. And I've, I've actually and, and seen honest, that gentleman since. He still got it. He's this still guy got is pot. quite a successful, wealthy guy. It yes, doesn't yes. matter to him one Daytona. No. I no. mean, he's he's millions of dollars. And interestingly. Um, that nice, was from he, Hourglass. Uh, no, Swiss Concepts, sorry. Swiss, Swiss Concepts concept. in Sydney. Okay. Fair enough. Now, number time. three. Tell me number three. What is number, number three? Number three was the two-tone Arabic oh, dial. Let me have a look. Sorry. The number three was... Now, any significant reason for buying this? I've been looking at that on the website for... So, this was European Watch Gallery. European Shining. Watch Gallery. I watched, Shining. I watched I, that while... Watch I told Sydney. you to buy it. What yes. did I tell you? What did I tell you, Dave? Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger and stop mucking around. Didn't I say that to you? And the, that's the first watch I've ever bought that doesn't have full box and papers. It, it has, has a box, but no papers. It had but a service, had service receipt. service receipt. receipt. And the dial has been changed. Okay. by Rolex. I don't think that's a problem. I actually prefer the dial. The dial is... It was originally a black dial. I actually prefer that I thought that it was dial. white. I'd have to check, but I think it... Ah, uh, yes. Apologies. It yes, was a sorry, white I dial. Just, I just, sorry, I can recite right. facts. I can't remember mathematical formulas yes. for high school or uni, but I can remember trivial bullshit. Yes. Like what yes. colour dial Dave was offered on it. I don't know why I need to remember this, but I do. Um, you got it from Shani. Yes, correct. Um, you've you've loved this watch, haven't you? I mean, when you got it... One thing about this watch, which I don't understand, is everyone said to you, oh, it's too high, it's too expensive. Then once you bought it, they all bitched that they didn't get the bargain. Correct, correct. And you had mentioned to me that a few people had looked at it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's, I tell you, this this is, it's, it's a, it's beautiful. So that was number three. Number four, what was number four? The white gold Daytona. Oh, the white, so I only just flew, you flew me down because you were a bit, Correct. you wanted just to make sure it's okay. And, just... and the reason I bought that is, I've been looking at that for a while, you and me had discussed it. Yes. And it, a white gold does not come up that often, and no. it's a zenith as well so ah, or it's the it only adds zen. a variety to yes. your collection and it's also on leather which yeah, is different I gotta, to all. Dave I've got to tell you I really think the condition of the leather strap it's got like a patina to it yes it's aged I wouldn't change it I, I really yeah. that annoys me don't put a rubber B on it okay that's kind of like someone buying a Mercedes and putting fair enough you, you know, I just think it's classy. That is, that is, and I do like having. Class. I've got two white dials, so you can sort of compare oh, that to two the gold. black dials, two white dials, and now we need two exotic dials. The blue that's considered exotic. Yes. So you need to get a solid gold with the green, because that's an exotic that's color. My next that's one exotic. Like that's exotic. Yes. Exotic. So that was bought from European so Watch Gallery as well. Okay. And that's not box or that's got box, but doesn't have papers. No paper and no service receipt. No service but receipt. Shani is. But if you feel the weight actually of that oh, no, watch, Dave, you know it's white. Dave, you, you don't even need to question with European Sh Watch Gallery. Sh Shani, Dave, they, uh, European Watch Gallery, Brian said, and Shani. Remember we went to guys. Watch Time. Yes. And they, we said, oh, you, you got this from from European. Oh, well, it's one hundred percent honest. Then yes. that's what they said. Yes. They, they just said, well, yes. it's, it's perfect. As yes. soon as you mention that guy's name and then the final piece the final piece piece da -da, da -da. was the ceramic daytona now, this came as a surprise you didn't know you're getting it no oh, you put a few feelers out you're i put working. a few feelers and to be honest i should have really bought that watch 12 18 months ago dave but hindsight is a hindsight is a great thing and the market for these things have gone up I didn't pay retail, unfortunately I paid more than retail. Well, but I don't think you, you can I don't get it care. for retail. The I mean, thing is, that's... I don't care. It's actually a grail piece. And I actually got out of some non-Rolexes to get into this. Wowzers. Uh, tell me this, tell me this, Dave. Um, if, I wanted to ask you, if a panda came up, would you pull the trigger? Now that I've got the ceramic and I want the... I think you, you would, you'd still pull the trigger? I want the yellow gold first. But if a panda Sorry. came up, yeah. you would still, wouldn't you pull the trigger? I possibly would, but it would have to be okay. at a good price. The panda is now at a premium to the black. The panda is a premium to the, I think that 
I tell you what, the black looks outstanding in, in yes, yes. I don't think photos or video does justice for it. How many Daytonas you need? How many Daytonas uh, does many a man need? How many Daytonas does it take to change a light bulb? But the thing is, is that they're my watches. I don't care what anyone else thinks. It's what I like. Yes. i got to tell you, that's the best Daytona collection I've ever seen. I don't think many shops would have anything like that, would they? No, no. You know, would, no. Many dealers would have pieces like that for sale? And I'd love to keep them for a very long time if I can. I enjoy what I enjoy wearing them. I see. What what is the hesitation? Why wouldn't you keep in case something financial? Oh, reasons? you never know what happens in your fight in your life or anything. But yes. um, I would sell other things before, like a kidney. Yeah, possibly a, a kidney, a, f a foot, a leg, possibly to keep the day. A luxury home. European car. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wow, Dave, that's just. But uh, I. Uh, the racing heritage that goes with Daytonas, because I like cars as well. Yes. That was one of my reasons for going to the Daytona range. Dave, that's amazing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.